Hi friends, it's Em. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great, blessed Saturday. So, you guys might not recognize my face. This is my first video, actually. And I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm more excited than anything. I've been putting this off for a long time. I've been wanting to start a channel for literal years. And today's the day that I woke up and decided I'm just going to do the damn thing, finally. So, here we are. I put a poll up on my Instagram yesterday asking if you guys wanted to see what was in my labor and delivery bag. I posted a photo of all oh, my bags nice and packed and I had an overwhelming response of people saying yes. So here we are, we're gonna do it, we're gonna get into it. I'm very excited. So if you guys are interested in this sort of content, please stay tuned and let's get right into it. So the first item on our agenda is gonna be some house slippers because Obviously, you're just going to want to have some slippers. They're going to be comfy. They're going to be convenient. You're just going to want to have some slippers. So, I have these little guys right here. They're super comfortable. I thought they were kind of weird, though, because, like, they're, like, that material that, like, some coats are. But they're cool. They were, like, 10 bucks at Walmart. So, we got our slippers. And first, I'm going to get into this bag right here this has like my toiletries and like just miscellaneous like everything else so the first thing we got in here is our lotion i like my skin to be hydrated at all times so literally i have to have my lotion this jergen soothing aloe is very 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 gentle on your skin i use it on my sun skin i use it on Mine, he has eczema. I get dry and like kind of patchy in the winter, so this stuff is definitely a go-to for me. Next, in our little mystery bag. I don't know how to say this brand, but this is the... Uh, at the hospital, they'll provide you with like a little Perry bottle. But these, they did not have these out, I do not believe, whenever I was in labor with my first. So this guy essentially, let's get him out of here real quick. Goes like this. A lot cooler than just having like the bottle. It goes like this. Easier to get up in there. You're not having to like move all crazy. So it's just going to be a lot more convenient. I'm really excited. It, these were on Amazon. I think it was like less than 15 bucks for two of them. I'll link everything that I can down in the description for you guys as well. If I can get this in there. You know what? We're not even going to worry about it. Do it later. Do it later. So I have... I'm a bag within a bag kind of gal, so... That's just, that's how we're doing it. And this little bag, I actually got a pair of slippers in from Victoria's Secret for Christmas. But like, I don't really need to put like my slippers in a bag. So, whatever. So first, I have my prenatals in here. You don't want to bring them, especially if you're breastfeeding. I'm personally not going to be breastfeeding. But it's just good to like have your prenatal still even after the birthing part, postpartum if you will. Got a big old scrunchie. This one is from Victoria's Secret. Just very big, not silky, what is that? Like a suede-ish kind of material. This one just works wonders, keeps everything out of my face. You're not going to want your hair in your face while you're pushing out a baby. Then I just got... A little hairbrush with another scrunchie just in case. My little eye mask just in case, like, you know, if the lights are on and you, you're just going to want to rest. You're going to want to soak up all the rest that you can get. So I would suggest bringing one of these for sure. Sorry, all this stuff is just on my lap. And then I have like this little like, I don't know what you call these things, 
like a medicine sack or something. It's like, there's lavender in it. You just warm it up or you can cool it down. Just put it on your head. I'm prone to migraines. Just put some pressure on your head. You're good to go. And I got this from, I got this for Christmas quite a few years ago, actually from like, it's from like an organic nutrition store that was super local. So yeah, and this whole, this held up super well throughout the years and I love lavender. It helps with my migraines. So yes. Oh, of course body wash. Cause you know, you're going to want to take a shower. This stuff smells phenomenal. There's not a lot, a lot left in here. That's why I kind of packed it. Cause I was like, whatever. Oh, I wish you guys could just smell that. Oh, especially when you're like pregnant. So you have like spidey senses. So like things that smell good smell really, really, really freaking good. Oh, I just knew I'm going to want to smell like this. It's going to just make me feel a lot better. Got my little mini loofah. I just picked this little guy up from the Dollar Tree, just a little toothbrush and toothpaste combo. So I'm not scrambling last minute, just trying to find, well not find, I know where my toothbrush is at, but you know what I mean? Just like, I, I would forget, I would forget and then I would regret it so bad. <laughs> then I have, what is this? Oh yeah, to clean my glasses. I wear, I wear contacts when I'm bringing my glasses as well. So if I needed to clean my glasses, you know, got that. It's just the Clarks and I care. Ah, uh, yes. Stool softeners. Oh man, I should probably start taking these in 38 weeks. And one day today, I'm getting induced on the 21st. Today is the 12th. So I should probably start taking these. Gosh, please, if you are, just take these. Get you some stool softeners if you're going to be giving birth. I literally waited to go number two for like five days, almost a week last time. It's ridiculous. It was the scariest, most painful thing of my life, and I'm going to try to do what I can to avoid that as much as possible this time. And then I have my deodorant. Okay, so the next... Thing. I have this little guy with some more miscellaneous stuff in it. This was just a little Ipsy bag from like a bazillion years ago. Contact case, just in case I want to take my contacts out for whatever reason and put my glasses on. And I have extra contacts because there's actually nothing in there right now, so... I have that little container with some bobby pins. My favorite. This stuff is actually from Victoria's Secret, but I love it. It's an overnight lip mask. I have it on right now though, but it's like the glossiest gloss you could ever need. And I do not want, I hate when my lips get dry. It like, it makes me feel like I'm panicking and I, it, I just can't have dry lips. I'm bringing up that and then some chapstick of course and then re-wetting drops for my eyes so here's that what else do we have in here let's see my glasses you know in case I want to take my contacts out I have my glasses I would rather be like super over prepared than under prepared like I don't know some people may be like oh you're over packing but wouldn't you rather be like more comfortable and just know like that you have it you don't have to worry about like especially during like a pandemic my fiance Jeremy he can't just run home and our house is like an hour away from the hospital. So he can't just like run home and just like grab my glasses, you know? 
But we have another bag within the bag. This has like electronic stuff in it. So I have this little handheld fan. I also got from Amazon. Last time I literally had one of those like hand fans and my sister, my mom, and my fiance all took turns fanning me with it. And I know my sister said her like wrist was cramping. So, and I figured this is gonna give me better airflow anyway, no offense guys. <laughs> but yeah, so we have that. You can hook it on to the side of literally anything. So I thought that was really cool. And it takes batteries or you can plug it in, which is also really nice. Let's see. I have my oil diffuser. I used this one last time when I was in the hospital with my son. Um, yeah, I put some lavender in there and we literally all passed out, everybody. We all passed out. <laughs> I have my little eye home, my very old busted eye home speaker. So if we need to listen to any music, any meditations, you know, we have it. And then I just have like the cords to everything in here. And then I have two different essential oils to put in that diffuser, I forgot to mention. I have a sweet orange, if you can even see that. And then, not my favorite brand, but I was out of my other lavender, so we got that. It'll do, it'll do. So we got that. So that's everything that's miscellaneous other than my letter board. I don't remember where I put that. I actually can't even find my letter, so I'm like kind of panicking because I'm wanting to put his name because nobody knows the name other than a couple like really close like family members. But we were waiting to reveal his name whenever like, you know, we post his first photo and everything. So we'll see. Maybe I can borrow some letters from someone. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Moving on. To this big old bag right here. So yeah, I just have a big old Victoria's Secret beach tote bag. This has like all, just all of my clothes essentially, so. Well, and my cup. I'm gonna, last time, I, they, they'll provide you with a cup, but you know, I figured I have one. It's cute, it has like the straw, it's gonna keep everything, there's a hair on it. Super cold, it's gonna make me feel more at home. So, bring in my cup. And then I have this silky, purple robe I actually this is what I gave birth to my first son in so Julian was born while I was wearing this it literally did not get messed up at all I'm not exactly sure how this was a gift from my mom so like that was pretty cool that I'm gonna be able to wear it the second time I'm having a baby too sorry there's just gonna be a big pile of stuff there by the end of this video I'm bringing a towel so whenever I shower because hospital towels they suck so <laughs> I'm just bringing my own we have some little Dr. Scholl's slipper socks some pink ones and some blue ones super comfy super cute super convenient and that's really what we're going for here just a couple other little pairs of socks my little coffee Socks, my little happy camper socks. Oh, and then we have these very, very, very sexy underwear, you know. I have one light pair, but I brought two dark pair because, you know, I'm going to be bleeding a lot. Yes, some super sexy 
Victoria's Secret lingerie, you know. Just some comfy underwear. They'll provide you with some at the hospital, most likely. I know my hospital does. They provide with provide basically everything, but I would just rather have my own. It's just a lot more comfortable, a lot more. You just, just feel like more like yourself if you have like your own things, I feel like. Just giving, giving birth is a very traumatic thing. It's a very traumatic thing. Just a tank top. Got a sports bra because I'm probably not gonna wanna wear a real bra. I might not even wear this bra, who knows. I'm bringing three, well, two pairs of sleep pants, some like thinner ones that are like capris and then like my thicker buffalo plaid ones and then just a pair of sweatpants. Nice comfy sweatpants. And then we have just comfy shirt. And then just my little mama sweatshirt hoodie. And then for like a going home like outfit, I, I might end up literally just wearing those sweatpants or the sleep pants and my tank top and my coat. I don't know, it depends. But just in case for like pictures, I just have this basic long sleeve green shirt and then some comfy black leggings. And then it's all the clothes I'm bringing. Since like the whole like COVID thing's going on, they're like not really gonna want us being there for like days and days and days, you know? So it's gonna be like a get in, get out kind of situation, so. We will see. I'd rather overpack than underpack, so. And I'm really excited. I have this postpartum wrap I got off of Amazon. It was very affordable. It was only like 22 bucks, something like that. But it's like three different pieces. I have not even opened it. I don't even know how to put it on. I'm just gonna figure it out when I get there. I saw a lot of ladies in the review section really hyping it up saying it really helped like keep everything together and make you because you know once you push a baby out your tummy's gonna be all squishy and stuff it's gonna help like keep those muscles all together instead of loose i wish i would have had something like this whenever i was giving birth to julian but yes i'm very excited plus i, I love waist training i love my waist trainers so this is gonna be a good like first step into getting back into that. So there's that. So that is everything for me. I also packed cat. I almost said his name after I just got done saying that we're not even revealing it yet. So that's everything as far as what I'm gonna need. I'm not gonna go over dad's bag. He just has like slippers, shorts, boxers, you know. He's not very high maintenance, so he has what he has and then he's gonna bring a bunch of snacks. So there's that and then for baby boy, got his diaper bag. I left the tag on just so I could show you guys. I got this off of Amazon as well. I'm not quite sure how to say this. But that is what we have. I'm really excited. I I just thought this was so cute. It's very convenient. All right. So let's get into baby boy. So of course, baby's first. Comfy plush blanket. I am so excited. Oh my lord. I am so excited to have this little man in my arms. Let me tell you. Yeah, just a super soft plush blankie. And also, I was told like all I need to bring was a going home outfit, but I I, I just packed a lot because I'd ra I'd rather have it with me. So I have a little receiving blanket. Sorry I have a band-aid. My cat decided to like mess up my fingers, so. And I'm a baby and I have to put band-aids on everything, so. So 
So I have, so, all right, here, I should preface it with this. Julian was nine pounds and six ounces. So he was not in newborn clothes or newborn diapers. So I am packing, cause I'm gonna be induced about a week early. So I'm packing like a newborn and a uh, zero to three month size of each thing. Just to be on the safe side. I'd rather things be a little bit loose than like too small. But I have this little, oh my God, it's so precious. Baby clothes, my goodness. This is obviously the little newborn baby bear. I'm also bringing a little sleep sack and it's open at the bottom. So it's super convenient for diaper changes. It has the little duckies, the little built-in mittens. Okay, so this is one of the options for a going home outfit. This little guy right here. With the matching little top. I just thought that was too precious. And this one, what size is this one? Yeah, this one's a zero to three. It's crazy, even zero to three months, it's just so little. I love little baby clothes. And then for our newborn option, For our newborn option, I have a little long sleeve baby bear, the little matching trousers. How precious is that? Man, I don't know if this baby is gonna stay in. I am happy I'm filming this video now. I'm literally having a hot flash. And I keep cramping so bad. Oh, man. And like my fiance works an hour and 10 minutes away. And I have like an almost two year old. So if I go into labor, it's just kind of scary. Most of my family's like 45 minutes away. So like, it's a little nerve wracking, you know? I also have sleepers, the little footy zip up sleepers. So this one's a zero to three month, I think. Yeah, so I just have this, the little mittens. I brought a thin one and then a thick one, just in case. And then here's the thicker one. Oh, and who knows, he might end up going home in one of these. Just really depends on how we're feeling. Our newborn option. This one right here, super cute. Has the little mittens and the little feet. And then for the thicker one, it says little brother. Oh, baby clothes are so cute. I'm so excited. And then I just packed a couple of swaddles. I know that they'll have them there, but might as well bring our own since we have them, let's see. Oh geez. And I suck at swaddling, like literally, I can't swaddle to save my life. Like it's, it's embarrassing. Um, I guess your baby goes in like that and you do it like that, I don't know. But yeah, I can't swaddle worth a damn. So I got Velcro ones this time because I'm not trying to get made fun of by my fiance because he can swaddle better than me. And then we have same thing, just with the little stars. Super cute, super cute. And then as far as diapers and all of that goes, the hospital told me I did not need to bring any of that. I'm not gonna pack it if I don't need it when it comes to diapers, cause I know they're probably gonna send us home with extra. Same with like formula. We don't necessarily, we don't have to bring that. I am bringing one of his own bottles though, just because like, just so he can start off with the right bottle and not like the nipple that's in the hospital. And then we get home and he refuses to take the one that we have at home. 
that's just those are clean they're just they're out drying honestly so I actually need to grab that and put it in the bag still but yes so that is everything guys like that is everything that is what's in me and baby's labor and delivery bag I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it I'm really 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 excited that I'm finally finally doing this this is like something I've been wanting to do for so long. So I just want to thank you guys. If you watched it, if you came this far, put the little, uh, put a bottle emoji down in the comments. If you made it this far, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Oh, I, I can't wait to see this baby. I can't wait to put out more content for you guys to interact, to build a community and just be able to express myself creatively, create, I just can't wait to express myself and just like come out here and talk to you guys and just do my thing and build a community for real. Like, especially being like a stay at home mom with two babies now, but I'm not always going to have mom content. Sometimes it might be like cleaning and organizing, decorating vlogs. I have no idea. So we're just going to see, like, we're going to see where this goes. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Leave a little bottle emoji, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone that you think that this could be helpful for. So I guess I'll just see you guys in the, ne in the next one. Love you.